you know, people that are against gay marriage, if they just openly said, I'm against gay marriage because thinking about two men having butt sex or two women having scissor sex <laughs> kills my boner, dries up my vagina, I can't have sex, it ruins my life, that's why I'm against it. That would be a valid argument. <laughs> We'd have to actually debate you on that. But these lunatics always go, well, because it says in the Bible. Okay, stop, hang on. I'm glad you like a book. I really am. I'm glad, hey, I'm glad that... <laughs> At this point, I'm glad anybody's reading anything. And I'm not even putting it in the Bible. The Bible is terrific. Give it a read. It's got monsters and adventures. And, and hey, if you like torture porn, check out the Old Testament. Oh, man. Any Saw fans out there? Woo! Get the Old Testament. But just because you like something in a book doesn't mean you can have the thing you like in the book happen in real life. That's what crazy people want. I can't go to the White House with a bunch of Green Lantern comics and go, I want a Green Lantern ring. I saw it in a book I like. Make the thing in the book I like be here now. I would be justifiably tased if I did that. Nobody would go, hey, we have to respect his beliefs. You know, you gotta, you've got to respect everybody's beliefs. No, you don't. That's what gets us in trouble. You have to, look, you have to acknowledge everyone's beliefs. And then you have to reserve the right to go, that is fucking stupid. Are you kidding me? I acknowledge you believe that. That's great. But I'm not going to respect it. I have an uncle who believes he saw Sasquatch. We do not believe him, nor do we respect him. <laughs> what if I, what if I 1,000% believed, and I believe this a thousand percent, what if I believed that there was a giant invisible anus <laughs> hovering over me, and if I wasn't nice and helpful and courteous and charitable to everyone I met, the anus would appear, suck me up into it, and I would be devoured by shit piranhas. And I mean, and I believe this a thousand percent. I would be the nicest guy you ever met. You'd be like, Patton, you're so helpful and charitable and, and courteous to people. Why is that? And I would go, it's funny you should ask me that. <laughs> you can't see it, but there's an invisible anus hovering over me. And if I'm not nice to everybody, it will appear and suck me up and I'll be eating. Well, I don't need to tell you about the shit piranhas. We all know about those, right? <laughs> Your correct response would be, I acknowledge you believe that. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Please do not stop believing in the dumbest thing I've ever heard because you're actually helping people out with your craziness. Don't stop believing in that stuff. Please, I beg you. <laughs> I mean, just Jesus's superpowers alone are so crazy. They, they don't even, look, I'm not saying that they're bad. They're just so random. He has the most random, like on the one hand, he's got the necromancer powers where he could drive away demons and raise the dead. Oh, wow. Awesome. And then over here, he can take a little bit of food and make it into a lot of food. What? Doesn't that sound like a, like a power that one of his sidekicks had in earlier versions of the Bible. And then as they kept rewriting it, they're like, why don't we lose Sandwich Joe? Why do we have him? Is he, he doesn't really say anything cool. Like Jesus is always saying all this cool shit and then he pops in, who wants a nice pita, huh? It's the fucking Sermon on the Mount, Joe. Get out of here. They looked hungry. I thought I'd pop in. And, oh, Give Jesus the lunch powers. <laughs> See, that's and that it's Jesus' wisdom and humility that would keep him out of the good superhero teams. If he ever came back, 
he wouldn't just go to the X-Men and say, guys, I can raise the dead. So you keep me at the mansion, someone dies, bring them back, boom, I put them right back in the game. They'd be like, wow, you're hired, thanks, Jesus. Let's go get you a cool leather uniform, man. Are you married to the beard? All right, no, that's cool. Um, He would, be, he would be very humble and self-effacing and say, well, superpowers, let me think. Well, there was this one time when many people were gathered and there was but a crust of bread and a few fish and then the next thing you know, everyone had a nice lunch. <laughs> and they'd say, wow, that's amazing. Hang on, just one second. Guys, remember when we took down Magneto and we needed like 15,000 sandwiches? <laughs> Yeah, me neither. So, uh, we're good. Thank you for coming in. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Try the Avengers. They'll take anybody. Those guys. Have you been to them? Oh, they have a, hey, they have a guy with a bow and arrow. I'm not kidding. They, what are they, recruiting at sporting goods stores? Or Hey, you jump rope really fast. How'd you like to be an Avenger? I like the way you tether balls, sir. (laughs) How would you like to take on Ultron?